Okay, I'm going to see how this works. Uh, see if we can get a little better video. Kind of be working on the eye mount. Just getting it done. Kind of even it up a little bit. That's a pretty deep spot on your face. And I can tell this side that I'm working on here is already deeper than the other side. have to have a pretty uh, smooth transition and what I'm going for is like the eye here what I'm calling the eye mound is like from brow line and I'm not too worried about these marks they'll cut off to down here and that will include the bags and cheekbone and re actually it'll be I know I'm not going that low I'll just go around that and I've got a a gouge here where I'll just kind of go from the high points to the low points like the high points will be there and there so be like here and here's the high points that one on this side it's not going to take much cutting that's about it and got that half done I don't know if you can see, but that's kind of got the eye set in. I mean, roughly, roughly set in. I do like like that. And they're going to be narrowed, going to be kind of squinty. Not a weird looking squinty, but. And I'm going to get the, uh, the nose and everything back down to where it's really going to end up. See if that's still half. Be half up there. Then I'll just I'm gonna form the go around the nose a little bit. And again, I'm real careful about the nose because they're easy to break off. And short of super glue, they're hard to put back on. I'm going to cheat through here a little bit because I know I'm going to need that kind of that shape around that part of the mouth. I'm going to go ahead and set that in. And when I say set in, this is still all roughed in, I guess. Be the term that I should use. I'm kind of just drawing here instead of having the lines drawn with my chisels, gouges.
but I do want this to be realistic so I do no, I don't shy from using a, a marker pen pencil sharpie type uh, okay so hopefully you can see what's going on here well I know you can't now because I'm way down here can't see that well yeah you, well yeah this will be the lip then the nose and from here I'm gonna try to get the nose up where it's in the the middle of the of the face where it'll look I'll know what I'm what I've got to work with how much more I need to go in if at all and I use a, a big this big tool big gouge Just need to smooth all this a little bit. The, the transition lines, just smoothing them. Even on this side, it's the same thing, just going for a smooth transition right now where I know where our stuff is or where I want it. Nothing's really set in yet. I mean, it's still in the rough out, the rough out stage. I know I need to get some nicer eye mounds and you run into stuff like where this side of the face is a lot harder to carve the woods harder Somebody can let me know why that is. Okay, so now I want to get this down a little bit, the brow line, where it's more realistic because it's way too... too big, too pronounced. Seems to be a little point like that comes up right about there on people. Okay. 
Okay, now move into a smaller chisel. Keeping it pretty straight across on the nose right now because uh, it's just not time to set it in any closer. I got some stuff that are like uh, my, my nose special tools. Just want to, now all that needs to be a smooth transition. I'm going to put some details in it later, but. Trying to keep it equal on both sides. I'm gonna have to shorten the nose though. That's about it for now. I'm going to uh, stop the recording here and uh, go move the camera where I can get in there and get everything set just like I like it. Like I like it. And uh, then I'll come back and kind of finish this up. This part anyway.